Okay, folks, it's time for everybody's favorite watch. <laughs> if you are a, if you have been alive and awake for the last ten years, uh, paying attention to Seiko divers, uh, there's there's only one word, and that is Willard. The Willard is is the diver, in my opinion. Um, I you know some people will want to fight me on that, but there's no contest. This is the diver. I mean, you can, you can say what you like, but it's, uh, it's really, this one just knocks it out of the park. I love the asymmetrical case. I love the, the style, the simplicity, the uniformity of design. It's just so good. They just, I mean, wow. So this one's for sale. Uh, I, I get them in, sometimes I keep them, sometimes I just look at them, uh, but this one I, I needed to just, you know, not do my normal thing of hoarding it away and, and, you know, saying that I have too many of these. This one's coming out to the wild, it's coming out to you. Um, I think it's just a, a really, really special uh, example. It is super clean, really great runner. It's been totally overhauled by me, which includes course a movement service with two new jewels in the arbor ports um, the dial and hands and everything are very very nice clean and original to the watch it's a little dark right here on the end of this but I didn't want to I didn't want to lighten it or do anything crazy to it um, it's a really good watch uh, the insert on the on the uh, the bezel is one of the nicest that I've seen in a while. Very limited in terms of any imperfections. Maybe a little bit up at the top here, but nothing of any of any real consequence. Um, you know, it shows a little bit of wear. So it was a worn watch, of course, but not hard. Not hard worn. You know, this is this is pretty darn good. They don't they don't come away without chips and dings along this edge very often. Um, this is sort of the you know. The edge that that gets battered these leading edges here tend to get a little rough uh, the case back is beautiful brushed. nobody has taken to it with a screwdriver um, this brushing this linear brushing on the back is just so nice to see so this is a later one of the later ones 76 this is overlap uh, year you know you're sort of thinking about moving on to the turtle um, but this one it has survived and looks great it's on an uncle straps uh, waffle, which I think is really nice. It suits this watch very well. Of course, it looks good on a NATO. It looks good on a bracelet. It looks good on anything, especially the wrist. So it's one that I have trouble um, switching out. Uh, when I start to wear mine, it, it tends to stay on my wrist for a long time. Um, this one works exactly as it should. It's got nice, nice stiff clicks on the bezel. So it's, it's a great watch. Um, you know, let's just go through a couple little things here. Oh, it hacks, which means that you're not going to see the date click over because I did it at the wrong time. Um, but let's go through here. I have rebuilt the crown on this, so it has a now watertight crown. Go one more time around so we can get to the 24th, which is the date today. Go, click over at midnight. All right, so a really sweet, sweet watch. Um, just as honest example, just one that you can either you know covet <laughs> or wear. Um, new seal on the back, new seal in the bezel, uh, new seal in the crown, of course, um, as it does. You know that's a mechanical removal of all the components within the within the crown and a rebuild to get it right um, so of course I don't I don't water uh, warranty um, I didn't make this watch I just serviced it which means that I can't guarantee what Seiko did 50 years ago uh, but I know that um, you will not have any issues with moisture ingress with it in its current state so Klein crystal a great example just the most beautiful design in my opinion of any dive watch it just does it all right if you're interested have a look thanks for watching